What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about Nintendo, the Nintendo Switch. I'm super excited about it. You're super excited about it. Even my wife was talking to me about how excited she is about this Switch. It's a beautiful console. Uh, the implications of what it can do are super, you know, unique and very exciting for me to be able to take it on the go and, and have local multiplayer with people. Just tear off a controller, hand it to somebody. It just, the way that this thing is coming across and being perceived is very unique. Now, I don't know if you guys saw recently on the Jimmy Fallon show, Reggie fils uh president of Nintendo of the United States, went on the show to show Super Mario Run, the new iOS game coming, uh, I believe on the 15th. Super exciting looking Mario game. I know a lot of people are big time Mario fans and just to have a little Mario in your pocket, it's a, it's a great game to have. But, Reggie didn't stop there. He turned around and lifted up a box on the stage, and there was a Nintendo Switch. Jimmy Fallon almost shit his pants. I collectively was very excited to see this myself. Reggie fils then picked up a Nintendo Switch gamepad, turned to this giant monitor that was on stage, and began playing The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Now, I was really shocked that Jimmy Fallon knew so much about this game. Obviously, and we've known for a long time, he's big into the gaming community. He's one of us, and that felt really great to have someone like us on stage and knew what was going on he knew about different abilities and all this stuff about the game and it made me feel great to watch it but the thing that was really exciting was when reggie fils lifted up the switch handheld out of the dock he pushed a button or two it didn't show what he pushed uh but the monitor went blank and went dead and then he handed jimmy fallon the nintendo switch handheld and he continued to play the, the legend of zelda breath of the wild right from where reggie left off and it looked great you know, the camera showed it. It looked like a great game. It, was, it looked vibrant. The screen looked crisp. I was very excited to see it. And Jimmy even asked, is this everything? Is all the power in, in this handheld? And Reggie fils said, yes. There's some people saying that that's not necessarily true and that the Nintendo Switch will be slightly different in its handheld form than it is on the docking station. I'll drop a link in the description. The Nintendo Switch will act differently at home and on the go. Nintendo Switch won't be out until March 2017, but more details on the multifaceted video game console are starting to trickle out. A representative from the company went on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon on December 7th to demonstrate its forthcoming iOS mobile game, Super Mario Run. Nintendo's first real mobile game, discounting its Miitomo and Pokemon Go efforts, which was developed by a third party. But Nintendo also gave Fallon a sneak peek at its first new home console in five years. The Switch is a hybrid console that can be played at home like every other console Nintendo has ever made since 1983, but it also contains a tablet that can be pulled out of a docking station and played like a handheld console. On top of that, the controls on the side of the tablet can be removed and stuck together, allowing the gamer to play the Switch like a home console wherever they are. The processing power of the Switch is entirely contained within the tablet, meaning that theoretically it shouldn't perform any differently whether you're playing The Legend of Zelda at home or on a train. But a report from a video game blog, Let's Play Video Games, suggests the console will actually be able to overclock its processor. A common gaming practice for getting more power out of a processor by forcing it to run faster than the manufacturer says it's supposed to when it's plugged into the dock. That means playing at home may be faster than on the tablet. The dock also has a built-in fan that will help cool down the system when it's overclocking, so as to not overheat or damage the machine. Nintendo wasn't immediately available to confirm the report, but it does stand to reason that the Switch's relatively large dock serves some function other than just sending video from the device to a TV screen. Nintendo told Fallon that it intends to release more information about the console on January 12th, so stay tuned. Let me just say this. This is nothing but good news. We saw how The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild actually played in Jimmy Fallon's hand. It looked great. It ran at a smooth frame rate. Uh, it didn't look like it had really taken any kind of hit compared to what we were seeing on the big screen. If the docking station is able to overclock the GPU, that's nothing but good news. If your games run slightly better on the home console, that's really, that's good news. You know, it, it, it's, if you're going to change the presentation from a very small screen to a big vibrant screen for, where everybody can see it, you're going to want slightly more power. That's just the truth. You're going to want it to run at its optimal frame rate. You're going to want as much power out of that GPU as you can muster. And if the Switch is able to overclock by using that docking station, I think that's a very smart thing that Nintendo is actually able to implement. I don't know exactly what GPU uh, the Nintendo Switch is using. There's been rumor that it's using the Tegra 1X, but 
many, many people were saying that the One X would not be able to do what we've seen it do. It might be the Tegra X2. If that's the case, this thing will be able to go head to head with PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, and it definitely will once it's docked and connected to a television. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. Is this bad news to you? Is it good news to you? Would you be upset if you get slightly less performance when you take your, your Nintendo Switch out of the docking station and you take it on the go? Or do you think it's actually smart for Nintendo to try to optimize performance when it's connected to a big screen? I think it is personally, but hey, the world is not revolving around me. It's revolving around my subscribers. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section below. Be sure to give a thumbs up guys to show support for the channel. If you liked the video or you found it interesting, join the Facebook group, follow me on Twitter, and you guys can support the channel by going to BeastlyGamer.com. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Take off.